Hello guys, HBR here. Welcome to another episode of our Let's Play series. This is episode 2, uh, continuing straight where we left off from the last episode. Uh, you know, last episode I think we, you know, did the prologue, started the prologue anyway, uh, created our character and sort of went through what we were going to be doing. Uh, but firstly I have to say thank you for all the support on the first episode. Uh, we had a really, really positive response which was just absolutely awesome. Uh, really, really good to see. Uh, lots of comments, you know, that were saying, you know, it was really good. Uh, so, yeah, today we're finishing the prologue. Uh, as you can see right now, we're just in Chaos Crypt. Um, I didn't actually realise there was... I sort of forgot the prologue was this long, to be completely honest with you. But, yeah, no, so at the moment, you know, we're just going through the Chaos Crypt stuff. Uh, killing the Knights against the Pulcher's armour. Um, and then what we'll be doing after this is starting Cheerio Valley. I don't know if I said that right. Uh, with the first Lord of Chaos, uh, Asurion. So yeah, all of that to get up to in the first ep in this episode today. Uh, you can see that the footage is sped up. I've put it at 200%. I didn't want to go any quicker than this, but I also feel like if I put it slower, then the episodes will just drag out and be really long. Especially because um, at the moment, because I'm quite low level, it takes quite a lot of time to kill all the enemies. Like, you know, as you can see, I'm doing like 50 damage, so... Yeah, it takes a bit of time to kill the enemies, so if I didn't speed it up, it'd just be the entire episode of me taking ages to kill stuff. Um, so that is why I've why I've sped it up. Um, but yeah, no, it's um, it's looking like obviously last episode I said we were going to try and do a Chaos Lord episode. I'm starting to realise now that might have been a little bit ambitious, just because I could, but the videos would be pretty long. Um, it'd be much quicker to get through a Chaos Lord if I was higher level. Um, but yeah, no, it just, I under, I underestimated how much time it was going to take to kill the monsters. So yeah, no, we're looking at roughly a Chaos Lord every two episodes, but hopefully when we get higher level, you know, that might speed up. We'll see, you know, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, no, um, a couple of comments said, um, a couple of comments were talking about getting Blood Sorceress, which I thought was a really good idea actually. So a lot of, um, and the reason I haven't got it in this episode is because, um, I recorded all of this like in one period of time so I recorded like four episodes worth um, before I uploaded the first video so that's why um you know that's why I'm not getting it in these ones because we've got to get through all this content first but I can promise you guys that um, in a future episode we will be getting blood sorceress because it was a really it was a really good suggestion um, as you can see now we are what we're we doing defeating the Knights so um, what we did before you know we went through went through all the prison stuff uh, all the classics, and now we got to come back. This is the bit I didn't remember actually happened. I sort of thought you got the you got Sepulchre's bond, and then that was it. But yeah, no, there's like a couple of extra things you got to do. Like you got to go, and then you got to go to this forest, which I completely forgot about. Like honestly, I didn't. I came here. I was expecting to go to Churro Valley straight away, straight away. But yeah, no, we came here instead. Um, and this is where you can like sort of start to tell. I mean, these monsters aren't too strong. But, you know, even at double speed, you know, it is taking a lot of time. Another thing I've really been struggling with is um, remembering that, like, I don't have insane amounts of health. So I'll just, like, I'll go doing quests and just spam my four skill, which is area of effect. And then, I'll re and then like, I'll be doing it for a bit and I'll realise I've got, like, 100 HP left because I don't have a heal. So it's been, it's been kind of weird to remember to, like, check my health. Because, you know, you know when, like, you're high level and you're farming, you don't need to watch your health. Um really depending on the class you use so yeah it was kind of weird um it was kind of weird trying to do that but yeah no now we're just killing the corrupted bear i was sort of worried i wouldn't be able to defeat him because he had like 2k hp but we were absolutely fine finished him with like 500 hp to spare which is absolutely great and yeah that's the it's the prologue complete it was telling me you know i could go to do the marsh quests um which i don't even think i've done on my main account to be completely honest but I think, you know, at this point, the plan is just to go and start the first Chaos Lord. I did quickly have a look at the good shop. I'm, I'm evil, but, you know, I just wanted to see what was in there. Yeah, a couple of things do look really cool, such as Platinum Knight. I remember really wanting that back in the day. And then when I finally got, like, I think it's good rank 8 you need for it. Like, oh, it just felt so good when I could finally get it. Um, but, yeah, now we're into we're into the first Chaos Lord, obviously, in Mobius. Mobius? I don't know how you guys pronounce that. I, I say Mobius. But, um... Yeah, no, this is where it starts to become pretty apparent that I'm just really not doing enough damage. And while I was recording, I definitely started to notice, the, you know, you can just see, like, I'm hitting, like, 40 damage, which is okay, but I'm missing so much. That wasn't, that wasn't the best example. But, like, 
you can see here I was actually tempted to use my XP boost that I got from the Wheel of Doom. Um, yeah, I did. I got a daily spin for the Wheel of Doom um, at this point. I got like, I got like some helmet. It, it looked alright, but I don't really have anything to match with it. But the XP boost is really cool, actually. I, you know, but I was tempted to use it just because it was taking so long to kill these guys. Uh, but I didn't in the end. Um, but definitely, what I will do is if I'm recording like in big bunches of going through the story, I'll wait for um. The one to have reputation doesn't massively matter, like some of the early ones. Because um, I don't think you start getting reputation classes until maybe like... Sansi? Because I don't think you get one... You don't get one for Dwarfold, you don't get one for Yokai. Like you do, but there's no class. Except Yami no Ronin. Um, but that's a bit out of my league at the moment. And um, and then Darkovia, I don't think you get a class. There's Vampire and Lycan, but they're not Darkovia rep. I don't even know if there is Dark Over Europe. But anyway, like this is what I mean. And then it's like Myth Song after that. And you get Bard, but Bard's member, so I don't plan on getting it. So, yeah, no, I think what we'll do is we'll do like a couple of the Chaos Lords when there's an XP boost on. I think there's one like tomorrow. I'm recording this on the on Friday the 22nd, this voiceover. So I think there's one. I think there, I think an XP boost starts tomorrow. So what I might do is play through, you know, record a bunch of the Chaos Lord stuff tomorrow. And hopefully level up a little bit. Um... Just because, like I said, I didn't want a power level, but I'll definitely be taking advantage of double XP when I can. Um, so yeah, you just see I hit Rage, uh, Rage Mag 5? Mage Rank 5, uh, just there, which was pretty good. I mean, like, the number 5 skill is, it's actually pretty useful. But at the same time, like, it's so annoying when it, what it does is it gives you, like, a, a shield, but it takes it away, from, It instead of taking away your health, it takes away your mana, which ended up being super annoying in the end. Um... Because I was just running out of mana all the time. So yeah, you, you know, you can't just completely rely on it. But yeah, no, we're coming into the we're coming into the quest here where we gotta kill the Cyclopses. I just remember doing this quest, it just had such bad drop rates for the for the contact lenses. You no, know, it was it's been alright so far. But yeah, no, it was just it it was taking so long. And you can see here, like, I'm just struggling for mana so much. Uh, but yeah, no, we do end up getting the barbarian sheath blade as a drop, which I actually really like, but it was also my first cape, so we're definitely going to equip it and enhance it, uh, and I think actually what we do here is, yeah, we just go through and enhance everything, just uh, for higher level, because I want to be doing a little bit more damage, you know, I don't think it makes a huge difference, but you saw a 500 crit there, so you know, obviously, we weren't hitting that before, I don't think, so yeah, super cool, but you know, our, I said earlier about our RNG being pretty bad previously for this Cyclops quest, but we just got them really fast, so evidently it's much better now, now we go and kill Slugfest, um, I was worried about this boss and then I remembered that like the bounty hunter drone pet and like Nogath birthday pet require you to kill him so there's always people there farming him uh, so it was super easy to kill him in the end and then we go to Watto uh, to this classic cutscene uh, you know I'm sure you've all seen it but it is pretty cool it's a pretty cool cutscene um, but yeah no um, what else have we got to talk about oh I was going to talk about my schedule while we're going through this cutscene so I think for now we'll stick to two episodes a week. We could do more, but I don't want to, you know, I don't want to push out loads of content. And then when it gets to like later on in the series where it takes more time to record, you know, I just videos will be much less frequent. So I think for now we're going to do two two times a week. It's going to be on Tuesdays and Fridays, I reckon, because I'm trying to fit this around when I stream. Because if you guys are new, uh, I stream on my main account HBR uh, every Saturday at 10 a.m. server time. Uh, just playing through the new event and stuff. So I, what I don't want to do is put all my content out at the same time. So I'm thinking Tuesdays and Fridays seems okay. You know, I think I put my first episode out on a Tuesday, and it's doing, you know, it's doing pretty well. So I think that's an okay day. And then if we put our second one out on Friday, you know that, you know, we've got the week covered in terms of content more or less. But yeah, no. Uh, so yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan. We'll see if we stick to it. I'm not sure yet, but that's the plan for now. Uh, but yeah, just um, we're into theory now. Fairy, theory. See. I never know when I'm pronouncing names, especially like when I'm recording, because there's the. I don't want to get roasted in the comments, but yeah, no, I've I've always said fairy, but I guess it is fairy. I don't know, but anyway, we're in this forest, uh, just doing the quests now, going around and getting these dew drops. Um, that slide's always pretty fun. I remember back in the day running up that, and then you fall down. Uh, <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't do it actually. I don't think I did it in this recording, um, but yeah, no, just going through the quests. Uh, I've, I've been pinning the quest using AQ Lite, so I don't have to keep running back to the NPC, which honestly, it's been such a time saver, like, 
ha not having to run back and forth all the time. It's just so convenient. And it just, it just emphasizes, guys, like, if you're not using AQ Lite, and I got a couple of comments about this, like, what launcher are you using? It's called AQ Lite. Uh, you know, just Google it and download it if you can. Uh, it's absolutely awesome. Gives you loads of extra features, such as pinning quests. It's called Drop UI I've got. Uh, and also some really cool, like, farming stuff. You can also show items from shops on yourself to see what they look like before you buy them. Uh, and, yeah, that kind of thing. So definitely, if you guys haven't, do that. But, yeah, no, we're just coming to the end of Theory now. Uh, killing Arakara really quickly. I swear Arakara used to be really strong. This is kind of weird. I swear, I swear, it used to have like 2k HP, but doesn't anymore. So yeah, maybe it was too difficult. But yeah, no, there we go. That's um, that's very done really quickly. Got through that actually. Um, you see, just a couple of drops. Not a massive fan. This is the helm we got from the Wheel of Doom. So, you know, it looks alright, but we definitely need to find some stuff to go with it. But yeah, no, that's all the that's all the footage for this episode, guys. It was exactly 11 minutes long, so I don't want to run too longer than that because, you know, I want to keep retention numbers a bit higher. Um, and no one wants to sit for 15 minutes. So, yeah, we'll keep it around this time, I reckon. But, yeah, no, that's all the content. So, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, episode 3, you know, will be coming out soon. Uh, this should be released on Friday. So, if you're seeing this on Friday, tomorrow I'll be streaming. Uh, so, just keep an eye out for that. Subscribe if you want to, like the video. And, yeah, thank you very much. Take care. You're